front of you purchased a new video recorder doing my YouTube videos let's try and stop saying um and R and all that so the Sony Handycam HDR CX450 quite nice optical steady shot intelligent active mode I like movie maker optional accessories which I'm not that bothered about but yeah, so that's all the kind of specs. 9.2 megapixel still image recording, 60 times clear image zoom. But it does have, I think, 350 times digital zoom, but I probably won't be using that much. And 5.1 channel microphone. So all the things that it does. The middle of the range list, not the cheapest Sony one you could get, but I did want to get one with an external microphone. So anyhow, I did open it, had a quick look at it because I wanted to charge it up. I'll get it open and show you what we've got i did pick up a memory card 128 gigabyte which is incredible really that's such a small thing you can get 128 gigabytes on there which is uh stunning really and this is a class 10 obviously it's not 4k or anything so i think this would be kind of the ample sort of speed anything over four would have been sufficient but obviously a 10 is obviously going to be better at transferring and saving the files and stuff, so I have to put that in it. So I've got the small little operating guide, which a lot of companies do now, give you a small little thing, but most of the stuff is basic how to use it, but a lot of stuff is you have to download it from the internet. I've already downloaded that. I already am registered with Sony, because I have a, an older um, Sony Cybershot camera which of its time was very good and that does have the Carl Zeus lens as well let's see what we get in the box get the USB connector which connects to charge it with the charger I'll show you those in a moment you do get a HDMI lead which is good sometimes you don't get a HDMI leads and have to buy them separately which can be a pain and an extra expense And then the camera comes obviously in a a bag like so. Get that out of the way. Get those out of the way. My camera's not very good on this. With the zoom on my phone, I use my phone to do my videos. So there you can see. I spent half my time trying to get the focus. So there we go. X more an optical steady shot. The USB with this one is already connected. As you can see so it goes in kind of that slot there from the handle which is a really handy feature so obviously the extendable cord goes in one of these ways oh, which way it goes in i don't know there we go so that fits in like that and then you can obviously hook it up to your computer or whatever which is a nice little feature very easy to use no messing about having to keep opening it up when you open it up it starts so let's turn it off for a second so you can turn it off manually turn it off you can i believe you can change the setting so it doesn't turn on when you actually open it to play this setting i believe is if you want to make the person who making the actual video's voice lower so you can concentrate more on the other voices and sounds so there we have the microphone and headphone jacks which is a real good addition something that i may use hdmi and the micro sd slot which also doubles as sony memory stick as well it takes both but obviously i have the sd card i'll be using one of those microphone and stuff all around there really good there's a little speaker here if you want to listen back but i don't tend not to listen back to the videos on my actual camera we have the tripod mount so yeah very uh pleased indeed so i'll be using this now hopefully well you have to bear with me till i get used to it um, i may do a quick sample with that and show you basically what it's all about i'm going to uh, put the let's see just come back on straight away if we were to get something to zoom in on let's have a look so yeah i'll mess around with it and play around sort of thing i don't believe it has an actual pause function on this uh camera just stop start phone has a pause but at the end of the day you can just connect the video together put another one in so it doesn't really like matter too much having a pause button i think it's just 
kind of one of those things. So yeah, peel that open. So being a brand new card, I believe I don't have to format it to make it work. And there we go. Very hard to show you through this camera. Very quiet. There we go, there's the subject. I'll try and put it into the tripod. Yeah. What it shows on the screen isn't probably the quality you'd get actually from the actual video. I'm definitely going to be checking this out. It has quite cool features over the video on my phone. My phone does take pretty good video. It takes brilliant pictures, but it is limited to a certain extent. Turn that off. Close the. I'll get this on the tripod and I'll do a couple of little um, tests with it, with the coins and the voice, and see if we see a difference. Obviously, I've got the the sheep, the monkey, my handling coins that everyone knows about. It does work. I mean, this is the thing. Sometimes it just won't focus. As I said, these are my handling coins that I take around with me and. Are starting to tarnish and getting a bit beat up now. But I love the playing with the uh, silver. I'm using my yellow light at the moment, just a normal house light rather than one off the magnifier at the moment. So I wanted to just do a comparison in this sort of light between the two differences. Because the main problem I have with this phone using my phone is the sound when I'm recording. I have to amplify virtually all my sound because for some reason if I'm in a certain direction or somewhere or whatever it doesn't pick up the sound. It sounds like I'm muffled or whispering or when it's not really the case I'm speaking kind of the same. Alright so bear with me and I'll see what I can do. So yes yeah, so this is my first test using this uh, camera. I just thought I'd show you the setup that I was using with my phone on the tripod we'll get some good pictures moving forward when I get used to uh, this camera so just a test at the moment I'm not very good with it in my hands I do need to put it into the tripod uh, lens thing as you can see Definitely uh, quite a good little toy. So anyhow, you can use the touch screen to zoom in and zoom out. Obviously it's a bit slower. But it does give you the effect that um, you need. So, as you can see there, that's quite a nice close-up. Yeah. very good it's automatically gone onto a macro so let's zoom in a little bit more that seems to be quite a good image so yeah very um I to see a bit of Toning on this coin now, as all can see. But yeah, very good. So I'm just going to swap over to my other light. Um, it obviously may give a better, different uh, kind of. So let's see how well it handles this. So let's just zoom out just a little tiny bit. Um, yeah, very uh, good. I don't know what it's, I've got it on the wide lens or the, I think I have it on the tele zoom lens and I've turned the digital zoom off because um, I don't really need the digital zoom but you can definitely see some which you can't actually see to your eye but I don't know whether that's just the screen, I'll have to have a look when I put it onto the video 
to see the quality and stuff. But yeah, quite uh, pleasing. That it gives for the coins and also you'll be able to use it for other sort of things. And you see my fingers there. But yeah. So I wonder if uh, it will work through my magnifier. So I may try and do that. Um, see if the camera will work through there. So. so yeah, so working out how to use the camera is um, one of those things that I'll have to kind of get used to. But what you can do is I can turn the screen round so I can actually um, view it from this side. To, which is a bonus compared to the other on the phone but still let's do things backwards <laughs> let's zoom oh, I zoomed in too much so quite an interesting uh, I'm so used to using the phone. <laughs> it's a bit alien using an actual uh, video camera. But definitely better um, quality. I think so anyway. The actual picture frame rate obviously this one's in 50 frames per second so but yeah I can actually you know spin it probably um, let's have a go at that see how that works so zoom out just a little bit move the thing let's put a coin on there so it goes out of the way let's see if we can spin it or oh, maybe do it, do it this way. Perfect test. Silver spinner. 